In this video, we'll discuss about the clonus, its mechanism, the way of performing it, and finally, we'll show you a video clip of an ankle clonus. So, clonus is a rhythmic oscillating stress reflex. It occurs in the cases of the hyperreflexia because each time the muscle relaxes from the previous contraction, uh, the applied stretching force renews the reflex, setting up a rhythmic series of muscle contractions that continue as long as the tension is applied, thus producing the clonus. It is caused by the upper motor neuron lesions and indicates some insult to the central rather than the peripheral nervous system. The most common site where we can test the clonus is ankle, however, uh, it can be done at the knee, biceps or triceps, or in some cases even at the jaw. So how do we elicit uh, ankle clonus? For the ankle clonus, we should allow the patient to relax with a passively flexed ankle to about 90 degrees and the passively flexed knee if possible. Uh, this usually involves the examiner supporting the leg with the hand not performing the clonus. Next, the examiner places their hand on the patient's forefoot and briskly dorsiflexes it. After which, the examiner continues to maintain the dorsiflexion pressure. Uh, it is against this pressure that the clonus beds will be felt and the rhythm and the number of the beds can be appreciated. Each bit will be felt as a plantar flexion followed by a relaxation. The initial beat is the longest with, with decreasing duration of the beat until the fourth beat after which the beat frequency becomes equivalent from one to the next. At the knee, the process is somewhat similar um, but the positioning is different. The knee should be completely extended with thigh and leg muscles completely relaxed. Then the patella is briskly moved distally using the examiner's fingers and light pressure is maintained in the distal direction. Each bit of the clonus will be felt as a proximal movement of the patella followed by relaxation. So after learning these things about the clonus, uh, let's look at this video of ankle clonus. Here you can see the ankle clonus elicited by an examiner. When examiner performs the test in the way explained earlier, uh, there is a continuous alternating movement at ankle. This beating usually continues as long as the pressure is maintained by the examiner at the foot of the patient.